Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I'm your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make molding chocolate. It's really good. It's awesome. You can use it to do a lot of things. Let's get started. White chocolate melting wafers, or you can use white chocolate chips. Corn syrup. The amount will depend on how much molding chocolate you want to make. To make molding chocolate, it's pretty simple. We just need two ingredients. We need chocolate and we need corn syrup. The ratio that I have here is a half a cup of chocolates to two tablespoons of corn syrup. On a larger scale, it's about two cups of chocolate for a half a cup of corn syrup, and you can scale it on up depending on how much molding chocolate you wanna make. So first, what we need to do is we need to melt the chocolates. I'm gonna take the chocolates and put them in this bowl, and I'm gonna just put them in the microwave. I'm gonna start at 30 seconds, and then after that, stir and then go down to 20 seconds and stir. And that's probably gonna be enough for this amount of chocolate. I'm gonna to go to that point right now. Okay, as you can see, the chocolate is nice and melted. Okay, now we need to heat up the corn syrup. Um, not too much. I'm gonna probably just heat it up for about 10 seconds just to get it nice and warm. And you can actually, you want it to be about the same temperature and you could just touch it with your finger to see how warm that is and then do that the same with, um, try to heat up the corn syrup to the same temperature. Now, what we wanna do is we have our, our corn syrup and we're gonna just pour that in here with the, the chocolate, with the chocolate, and we'll just get it all out. And then, with a spatula, we wanna combine it. And we wanna just kind of fold it in. You don't wanna stir it really fast. You just wanna be gentle but you want to fold the chocolate in with the corn syrup. And pretty soon, it'll start to get tacky and pull away from the, the wall. And that's how you know you're getting close. But you want all the chocolate to mix with the corn syrup. So about like this, it's about ready. See how it pulls away from the wall there? It's starting to look like dough. Okay, now let's grab some plastic wrap. We'll put that down. Then we're gonna take our chocolate dough. And then I'm gonna just flatten it out a little bit. like that, and then we're gonna fold our plastic over it. Okay, and there you go. And then we just let it sit overnight. Let it sit for about 12 hours. Depending on how warm or cool your house is, 12 hours usually does the trick. And then it'll be ready to use the next day. Okay, my white molding chocolate is done. Now for the breakdown. Total time was about 10 minutes for the mixing and about 12 hours for it to rest and set up. Total cost was about 50 cents. Now, when you want to use it, what you do is you're going to take it, take a bit off, and you're going to, you're going to knead it in your hand until it gets nice and elasticy, and then it's ready to go and you can use it on whatever you want, over strawberries, over cupcakes, decorating cakes and whatnot, whatever you want to do. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for other episodes. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe.